My name is Happiness Abraham. I'm from Imo State. I have four kids, two boys and two girls. But I was brought up here in Lagos. I'm a crazy dealer, I did on food stuff. But when gas came up, so the gas destabilized my business. Crazy was not selling as it was. And the, the you know, our husband of nowadays, when you have money, they will marry you. When you don't have money, they will reject you. So I have to look for another alternative. So I saw my friends that are riding it. I asked them, how, how is it all about? They told me, I have to go into it. That if I want to die, let me die. So I have to go into it for the survivor of the family. It's my six months now. Women should not be lazy in shorts. They should find something to do. So I need something that will be giving me money daily. I enjoy doing it. Bariga, come. Bariga. Bariga, one. Bariga, one. Well, I still return my shop. My shop opens by 4 o'clock in the evening. By that time, the children must have come back from school. They will open the shop and continue the small sale that is there. Just for them to be there. When I close around 8, 8.30, I will go there and pick them and we'll go home. There's a lot of things out there that we commonize. Like I have a friend, I have a woman that always come to me crying that they don't have food. That I'll be giving her sometimes, I give her 500, 1,000. But the time came, I have to shout at her, let her begin to do something. She said her husband, I said, which husband? After three, three, Three boys and one girl, we should wait in the husband, go and find something and start doing. By the grace of God, today she's happy. She started with granuts. She started frying, she's a caterer. She do, do donut cake. Then she started, she don't have money, she started with granuts. But today, she's happy. She has gone back to her profession. She, she's always grateful to God whenever she sees me. My advice to women that are not, they should find something. Let them start something. From that, they, 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 when you are doing anything, have mission, have a vision that let me suffer for one year. After this one year, I'll be true. Like this keke that I'm riding, I will not ride keke forever. From this keke, I will buy Jeep, I will buy Sienna. That is my vision. I will find driver that will be traveling. I mean to transport by God's grace, and I'm happy. God has been there for me. So whatever I'm advising my fellow women, that they should never, so far you have given birth. Those children that are looking on you. My daughter always says, say, Mommy, now you bring me to the world. You must cut out for her. Whenever she tells me that, I, I say, really, it's my responsibility to take care of. So if you're a mother, you must have to go out. No matter how dirty or whatever, just go out. Once you have a, a focus, by God's grace, yeah, your dream will come true. The challenges we face is a lot. Like, let me start with Agboro. They call it Agboro in Lagos State. They are really disturbing us. They don't mind. They can even, like this, my, like the, one of my colleagues, she even fought with them. They, they gave her suspension now. Nah. They, they, they collect this money by fire, by force. And on the ticket, they will write 100 naira. Where they, they will ask them to pay 1,000 on the ticket. Every day we pay 1,550. When I joined them, I told them that I cannot, my strength no carry ammo. We have to fight and fight and fight. Whenever I'm coming out to work, I will, I will develop high blood pressure because of what Abro we did to us. So I have to fight them that initial time. At least if I call, they will collect eight one for me. Oh, because I told them that I cannot pay that 1,000. How can I be, you buy fuel. You, like me, that carry higher purchase, 20,000 every week. You will buy fuel. You pay about 1,550. You will see deliver 20,000 for a week. So there is nothing. You see that we are just wasting your energy. So the, the, the money they are collecting from, especially women, because we don't have strength like men. The money they are collecting from us, you push your help us to talk to them that they should not be disturbing uh, women that are riding Keke Marwa. It's not an easy job. It's not, we are just doing it that we don't have choice. We don't have choice. That they should leave women alone that are riding. And female police too, 
If you do not settle them, they will stop you. They will stop you. Say, hey, you do chop alone and I say, mommy, it's not easy, oh, nah, dear, dear. Now, small, small. So please, they should look, women, women in Nigeria, we are really passing through here. Eh? Because our husbands, they are not, they are not, they are not, they are not, they are not doing things. Some husbands are not doing things normal. So we are really facing a lot. Of, so when they see us outside, they should overlook us. Or oh, down for too. Down for is disturbing us. They will, they, sometimes they will hit you. They will shout. They will, they will curse us. Stupid woman will still curse them back. It's God that is helping us. So that is the challenges we are having. This is because there is no job. There's no job. I've tried my a lot. I'm a widow with two children. So I look for a work I didn't see. I have to do when I see a woman driving Marwa, what I do feel in my heart is that whatever a man can do, a woman can even do better. Na na condition the concern, situation of the country. She understand. Maybe some people they no get husband again. Some no work. So everything. So a lot of things feel concern. Maybe say women they ride Marwa. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.